Hello, good day, guys. This is Dr. Porofit. Gara GX, uh, Lexus GX. This guy right here, 2004 model. The customer that the AC just turned on and it shuts off and it starts blowing warm air. So, what could be the problem? This is an old system, but I've hooked up my manifold gauge set on it. Now let's go and test run the system and see what we got because oftentimes it's best to actually uh, put what customer told you so you can take a look at it together. So we're going to be looking at it uh, from the perspective of hooked up my manifold gauge set right there. There are a lot of tricks which are involving uh, getting car AC diagnosed properly so you know exactly what to deal with and uh, so you don't uh, end up uh, hurting customers wallet now they've told me that is a compressor that is bad uh, this that is bad that, that is bad so i am here to cut through the crap and cut through the chase and get the problem solved and if you want to become that kind of pro technicians who knows even while hearing a customer talking when you're hearing a customer talking on the phone and this is what my problem is this is what my challenge is, is you want to buy my course because all these tips and tricks we're sharing on YouTube on the internet cannot often help you to solve the problem now let's go ahead and let me show you go ahead and hit the climate control system now you can see so I can go ahead and choose a middle button and that's it right there and here you go now before this customer actually told me this I already knew that the AC button light is flashing but since he's not a technician he wouldn't be able to know that the AC button light is flashing but you guys can see it right there so I made a couple of videos which can actually talk about this and give you the right uh, information about why this very problem is occurring and there are multiple factors that can actually cause this and so there you have it now we did doing right there you take a look at the manifold gauge set right there there is no damn thing going on now i have said that the set is actually the compressor that is bad and the condenser is what actually constitutes it which unarguably i can agree to that to some certain degree but not uh it's not the reality because a lot of people who are newbies are in this in these systems who lacks experience we never have a comprehensive knowledge to decipher exactly where the problem is coming from when this issue is going on, when this uh, AC light is blinking. So uh, this is going to be a wrap up because I'm going to be rescheduling the fix for this very problem here because I know where the problems are coming from. I have treated this very topic so go ahead and watch it in my youtube channel and you can send a chance to know a reason why this issue is occurring and there is no any response from the compressor so we're gonna do this again and this time i'm gonna keep uh, i'm gonna try to see how i can be able to capture the two okay now you guys can see right there so i want to put it on and let's watch both the gauge and the gauge did not flinch. You just heard a noise right there and it started flashing again. So they have condemned a lot of things which most guys would do and that would take a lot of money from customers and in the end, they don't know exactly what the problem is. So you can't solve a problem, you don't know what it is. You're only going to solve the symptoms. So guys, this is why I'm going to be stopping right now because this I and I, this uh, customer hasn't reached on a certain agreement on how much I'm going to take to fix it. So I only came to diagnose it to be sure that what I heard on the phone and what I suspected is actually what is going on with this very car. So guys. However, in this very car, the compressor is dead. Frozen like a dare.